upgrades, renovations, and home improvement projects raise a home's resale value. But with me is HGTV Sabrina Soto. She's a designer and home expert, and she says some projects are actually better left undone. Thanks for being here, Sabrina. Thanks for having me. Now, I first should say that not all of these are no-nos. If you're planning on staying in your home and just making it your own, this is if right. you have resale value in mind, right? Exactly. I think if you're going to stay in your house for a long time, do whatever makes you happy. Surround yourself with pepto bismol pink if you love the color pink. But if you're going to sell, you have to keep everything neutral. Okay, so let's talk about some of these things you should not do. One on your list is converting bedrooms into pretty much anything else, whether it's a study or a gym or a walk-in closet. Why is that? Buyers, if they see that it's a four bedroom house, they want to go to the open house and see four bedrooms. They don't want to see a gym. I know it sounds silly, but you have to take the guesswork out for the potential buyer. Make it as easy as possible to sell this house. And I know converting it into a closet is fabulous. I actually did that to my old house, but when it was on the market, I had to bring it back to a bedroom. Okay, and you say make sure not to get rid of any closets in those rooms. Never. That's a key thing, right? A closet is one of the key things that make a room a bedroom. So you yeah. never want to take a closet out, no matter what you're converting it into. Okay, so next on your list, Sabrina, are hot tubs. Now, I remember growing up, everyone wanted a hot tub in their backyard. Maybe people want to install them in their decks, but you say this is a no-no if you're thinking about selling again. I personally do not like hot tubs. I'm sorry, I just think they're a little, ugh, especially somebody else's hot tub. Yeah. But you'd be surprised how many potential buyers also do find them to be a little gross. So I would just say if you're going to sell anytime soon, don't spend the money building one into the deck. Okay, now another thing you advise against is painting trim any color that's kind of outlandish. Why is that? Doesn't a home buyer or a potential home buyer know they can just paint over it? That's not that big of a deal? No, trim, if you've ever painted a room and if you've ever painted trim, I would much rather paint walls than trim any day. It is a beast of a job. So I say if you don't like the color of your trim, if you feel like the color of the wood is outdated and you really want to paint it, just go crisp white. And you have similar advice when it comes to textured walls. Oh. I didn't know people still did textured walls, but, <laughs> they but what's do. wrong with them? <laughs> It's really another one of those hassles that when you go to take it down, like if it, you have that sort of textured wall, you have to sand it down. I've done it a million times. It is a mess and that fat is over. So just let it go. <laughs> another very fixable thing on your list are kids' bedrooms. Sometimes people want to paint them, have a theme, put up wall decals, but you advise against some of this. Well, wall decals are actually great because they're okay. temporary. They're just like a sticker you put up. You can easily peel them off. Now, painting a huge mural, spending hundreds of dollars to get somebody to custom paint a mural is just, you're never gonna get that money back if you're gonna sell soon, so just keep it neutral. Okay, and what about outside? I know most people think that you would want some light landscaping, you want your yard to look good, but you say don't go over the top, you don't want it to look too good. When you overdo landscaping, it is gorgeous, yeah. but when a potential buyer sees something that's oh, all of these fountains and gardens, it just screams high maintenance. Mm -hmm. So I always say you want to keep up with the Joneses in the neighborhood, but you don't want to exceed them. You don't want to be the best house on the block. Interesting and counterintuitive tip. All great tips. Thanks so much, Sabrina. And we want to hear from you. What home projects do you think are bad ideas when it comes to your home's value? Connect with us on Twitter. Let us know. You can reach us at Yahoo Finance using the hashtag Destination Home. For Yahoo Finance, I'm Lauren Lister. Yahoo!